be talking to you about insomnia. First, I would like to share a quote with you from Ernest Hemingway's A Clean, Well-Lighted Place. He would lie in bed and finally, with daylight, he would go to sleep. After all, he said to himself, it is probably only insomnia. Many must have it. I can completely relate to this quote. As someone who has had insomnia their whole life and has looked for ways in which to cure it, I feel confident in my ability to explain insomnia to others. I found most of my information from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services website and the National Sleep Foundation website. Many people actually have insomnia and they don't even realize it. There are important things to know when confronting insomnia. First of all, you need to know what insomnia is. You need to know the symptoms associated with insomnia, the causes, and of course the cures for insomnia. First of all, what is insomnia? Insomnia is Latin for no sleep. And according to Dr. Mark Mahal, professor of neurology at the University of Minnesota Medical School and director of the Minnesota Regional Sleep Disorder Center and Hennepin County Medical Center, insomnia refers to the inability to get the amount of sleep you as an individual need to wake up feeling rested. There are different types of insomnia. The first type I'll be discussing is chronic insomnia, which is ongoing. And this will last for a month or longer. In most cases of chronic insomnia, they are secondary, which means they are the symptoms or side effect of some other problem. Acute insomnia is short term, and this will last for days or weeks. It's the most common and often brought on by situations such as stress at work, family pressures, or a traumatic event. And the last type of insomnia that I'll be discussing is primary insomnia. This usually lasts for at least one month. It is its own distinct disorder, and its cause is not well understood. There are symptoms of insomnia, which include daytime sleepiness and lack of energy. It can make you feel anxious, depressed, or irritable. You can have trouble focusing on tasks, paying attention, learning, and remembering. Now that you know how insomnia can affect you, let's look at some causes. There are medical disorders that can cause insomnia, conditions that cause ongoing pain such as arthritis, conditions that affect breathing such as asthma, sleep disorders such as restless leg syndrome, and menopause. Emotional disorders that can cause insomnia include depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Medications can also cause insomnia, especially those taken for colds and allergies, high blood pressure, heart disease, thyroid disease, birth control, asthma, pain, and depression. Life changes that cause insomnia include major or long-lasting stress, travel, and work schedules. Stimulants that cause insomnia can include caffeine, tobacco, and alcohol. How can you cure insomnia? There are many different ways in which to cure insomnia. Behavioral treatments that include stimulus control therapy, which is creating a sleep environment that promotes sleep. Cognitive therapy, which is learning to develop positive thoughts and beliefs about sleep and sleep restriction, which is following a program that limits the time in bed in order to get to sleep and stay asleep throughout the night. Relaxation techniques that can help with insomnia include yoga, meditation, and guided imagery. Medications can also help in curing insomnia. It is actually the most common treatment used and sleep medications for the treatment of insomnia are called hypnotics. They work by acting in areas of the brain believed to be involved in sleep promotion. It has the highest benefit and the lowest risk in sleep promoting drugs. Now you should know what insomnia is. You should know the symptoms associated with insomnia, the causes, and some of the cures. I hope that this information has helped you understand more about insomnia, and good night.